Hey guys, we're gonna talk about the Cyber Monday deals real quick. They have two deals. One of them's pretty good, I think. It's the Cyber Monday Crystal Bundle, and it's basically got every single crystal that's ever been released. Um, I know some of these look the same, uh, but I assure you they're all different. So you got um, a Dinobot Crystal, got a Galvatron Crystal, you've got a, what, is, what are these down here? Logic Crystal, Sharpshooter, Obliteration, Cassette, Loyalty, Waspinator Crystal, basically every single featured bot that ever got his crystal released. Um, have a chance at getting them right now. Uh, I'll probably definitely pick this one up and then I'll open up the, the, all these crystals on Thursday when G1 Megatron gets released. Um, they sent out a message about him just a while ago and he's going to be a tactician. Um, we'll go over him right now and then whenever he his full description comes out, we'll do another overview on him. Um, and the second bundle that came out, it's this tiered limited time offer, the Cyber Monday Bronze Bundle. Uh, so as soon as you buy the first one, the next tier unlocks and so forth. Let's go into our messages real quick and read up on um, on all that stuff. Uh, so you can get a tier three class spark, tier two alpha sparks and more. So the first bundle, it's only got two tier one alpha sparks and a thousand tier three bot crystal shards for 250 energon. The next one has 700, for 750 energon, you get one tier three basic spark, you get a thousand tier three bot crystals and 250 four star bot crystal shards. The Cyber Monday gold bundle, for 1500 energon, you get one tier two alpha spark and 750 four star bot crystal shards. Um, <clears throat> and the last one, for 2,500 energon, you get one tier three class spark crystal and a thousand four star bot crystal shards. So in total, you get basically one four star uh, bot crystal, one three star bot crystal. Um, you get one tier three class spark crystal, two or one tier two alpha spark and one tier three basic spark and then two tier one alpha sparks. I did the math, um, it's basically 5,000 Energon total, which if you were to buy Energon from scratch, it comes out to, what is it going to be, like 100, um, god, it's super expensive, <laughs> it's basically going to be like $170 worth of Energon that you'd have to dish out in order to get all four uh, tier bundles or whatever. It's kind of expensive, I think. It's a little on the expensive side. The only thing that's worth it is probably the, that tier three class spark. Um, but uh, it's the very last deal. You'd have to buy the first three. I don't think I'm gonna get this. I think it's uh, way too expensive. I'd rather just save my energy on in the meantime. Um, but if you guys want it, uh, go ahead, go for it, I guess. Um, but yeah, it's a little expensive, I think. And then we've got the Megatron Intel bot report. So a new Megatron joins the fight on November 30th. This is our third Megatron in the game. Uh, this is of course G1 Megatron and he's going to be a tactician. Uh, signature ability no mercy. As long as the opponent has a fused debuff, Megatron's melee attacks have a chance to steal a buff from the opponent for 5 seconds. Um, fuse debuff, I wonder how that's going to work. Um, well, I guess we'll have to wait and see, I guess. Basic abilities, he has a fusion cannon, which kind of reminds me of Galvatron. He's got armor break and an attack debuff. Um, rule over all living beings by wielding Megatron's fusion cannon and inflicting permanent debuffs on your enemies. Permanent debuffs, that's pretty cool. Unleash a special attack to temporarily inflict armor break, attack down, or shock, and then land a full power heavy attack to permanently fuse the debuff to your opponent. Oh, okay, so you'll want to do a special attack which can inflict one of the three, armor break, attack down, or shock, and then you land a full power heavy attack to permanently fuse the debuff to- okay. I wonder if that's going to be the same for shock. So if you shock the opponent and you use a heavy, does that permanently keep them shocked? I don't know, I guess we'll have to wait and see. 
Um, unlock Megatron's signature ability and use melee attacks when your opponent has a fused debuff for a chance to steal a buff for, from your opponent for 5 seconds. Okay. <clears throat> so strong matchups against Grindor, Optimus Prime, Paralyzer mod, and Transwarp Cell. And he's going to be available in crystals, available uh, on the 30th of November. So... It seems pretty interesting. I didn't really read up on that big paragraph there in the middle. I just kind of skipped over that. But he seems pretty cool, I think. Um, it's going to be interesting to see how those permanently fused debuffs, you can, if you can stack them, that's going to be amazing. Um, let's see. Okay, so you, you can steal a buff for five seconds, which doesn't seem like too long. I think the main thing that's going to be good with this G1 Megatron, it's going to be the debuffs. But I wonder if there's like a, like a window that you have to land your heavy. Uh, probably just in the meantime, while the opponent is debuffed with an armor break, attack down or shock, you have to land a heavy within that time period or else, you know, you'd have to try again later. Um, but a debuffing character, pretty awesome. I guess we'll get more information on him probably tomorrow or the day after, and we'll be able to check out his full potential, I guess. Um, See so yeah, you guys. Let me know if you guys are picking up any of these Cyber Monday deals. Probably just get the uh, this freaking uh, crystal bundle. I think that's the only thing that's worth it. Uh, but if you guys got it, if you guys started opening up stuff, uh, if you guys couldn't wait, let me know what you guys if you guys got anything good out of it. Uh, so thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you guys tomorrow.